God, so I, I wouldn't know how to answer that. Okay, let me rephrase. He, trust, he trusted his father when he was here on earth. Let me rephrase the question. Sure. When Jesus Christ was on earth during his ministry, did he believe in God? I just don't think that's a valid question. Okay. When Jesus said in John 20, 17, I go to my father and your father, my God and your God, can you basically just give us a, your understanding of this passage? When he says my God in particular. Uh, quite simply, um, we Christians believe in what's called the hypostatic union. Jesus is truly God and truly man. So as a man, he worshiped God. Good, which is exactly what my question was. When Jesus Christ during his ministry, did he believe in God? If you want to put it that way, sure. No, but you just you just said it, you qualified it yourself. You said during his ministry. Sure, he believes in God. Let's okay. go with the next one. Now the question is this, if Jesus Christ believed in God, the question arises, and you earlier qualified and stated that he is God as well. Does God have a God? Does God have a God? Well, according to the Bible, yes. How many gods are there? The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my sit at my right hand. Huh? Do you know that verse? How many gods are there? I'm just saying it because Muslims usually quote the Bible. So no, no, you you can quote the Bible or the Quran. Doesn't matter. No, today. I I don't use. I'm it just as asking you. As positive proof, I'm just I'm in Muslim discussions I've heard discussions with Muslim brothers. Fair, fair enough, quotes. fair enough. But the question is, if there is only one God. I believe in one God. I must, I'm sure you, as a Christian, believe in one God. I don't believe in the Islam. Oh, I'm not saying you believe in this, the God that Islam defines as God. Okay? And I don't believe in the God that Christianity defines as God. Okay? So let's get, get that clear. So I'm asking from your perspective. Yes. Yes? You said Jesus believed in a God. No, not a God. When Jesus is. asked me if Jesus believed in God, the one God. I said yes. Okay. Did Jesus believe in one God? God. Yeah, but there's only one God, right? Sure. Okay, does Jesus know that God better than you? Why not? Jesus know that God better The God that he worships, does he know that God better than you know your God? Well, Jesus says I and the Father are one, so I think he definitely knows the Father better than I do. Good. And the Father is his God, do you agree? The Father is his Father. No, the Father is also his God. The same words, John 20, 17. Sure. I go to my father and your father, sure? my God and your God. Sure. Okay, so Jesus knows the father well. Yes. Jesus also asserted that the father is his God, my God, sure. in John 20, 17. Sure. Now the question is this, sure. if there's only one God, and Jesus knows that God well, better than you and I, yes, the question arises. Jesus knows the father better than you and I, but sure. Yeah, yeah, the father is his God, remember? Do you, not, do you not agree with that? Okay, so according to Jesus, who is God? I don't know where you're going with this, man. I'm going to the fact that the, the God that Jesus worships, I'm trying to establish if that is the same God you worship. So let me ask you, based on your understanding of God, what do you, how would you define God? Oh, that's a lot of microphones. You want to give him one? Maybe? Sorry, Ashish. He's getting left out. <laughs> oh, I was just like, oh man. The only reason we don't is because sometimes it's, they walk off without it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as many cameras there are, there, that many microphones. <laughs> double, oh, double. I get it. Okay. okay. I get it. I get so it. just so you connect here. Yes. yes. All right. So the question is according to you, can you just give me a brief understanding of God, according to you? Your, your belief, your take, your ideology, your philosophy, whatever it is. Sure. Um, is, is it okay if we come here because no, we don't want to? No, no, it's, it's a noise. That's why I don't oh, want. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Just come a bit here if you don't mind. Thank you very much. What? So first, I want to. Establish... No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's alright. I want to establish in this discussion where yeah. we do have common ground. Good. And it's in a belief in God. Good. Can we just define it as that? Okay. So basically. No, hold on. You, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to answer your question about a short description of God. Yeah, yeah. Before sure. I answer it, I want to use a common language so we don't talk past each other. Okay, go on. Is that fair? Is that yeah. fair? So if we both believe in God, but we have differing understandings about the definition of that God yes, or yes. definition, yeah. you're asking you're asking me your my, definition my of my God. personal yes. shortest description of God. Yes. Jesus. Okay, so for you the one true God is Jesus. For me, Jesus, if, if we want to go a step deeper into Christian theology, as the Bible says, Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of God's nature. Okay. But for you, there is only one God. Am I right? You only believe in one God? I hesitate to answer because you're coming you're coming from your language about God. No, no, no. You, according to your belief, do you not believe in one God? 
sure. Good. So it's not my language. It's also your language. But we have different understandings of the oneness of God. No, no, no. The oneness of God is different because you believe in a trinity. Is that right? That's the reason you're saying it's different. But you're defining these things. No, I'm asking you. Is your, is your God a trinity or is it just Jesus? If someone were to come ask me about God, I would not start expounding about the trinity. I would say, look at Jesus. That's all I would say. Okay, so in other words, for you, the one true God is just Jesus Christ. You want to put it that way? No, I'm not putting it that way. I'm trying to understand if that is what you mean. When I asked you to give me a brief understanding of your God, a brief description, you said just Jesus. So for you, the Father is not God, just Jesus. No, I didn't. Exactly my point. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you once again, can you please define, without leaving out the main important bits, according to you, who is the one true God? God. That is like me asking you to define a car, and you go car. The word itself is not the definition. You have to define it. Tell me what God is according to you. you like like me, the, look. Are you when familiar you, with the ontological argument for the existence of God? In which case? In the case of the Trinity or in the case of this? I'm not talking about the Trinity, just philosophically, the ontological argument. No, but the ontological argument in your case involves... No, not, no, not in my case. Yeah. The ontological argument says that the very, in all possible worlds uh, that could exist, if there were a supreme being named God, he would exist in all his possible worlds. Okay. I have no, no issues. I have no issues with that. Yeah, go on. So you say, uh, who's the one true God? According to you, your belief. If I say God, that is a sufficient answer. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because I asked because you. There's only one God, no, no. Right? I asked you. We have already stopped. It's not the same as the car. What? There's Sorry, only I, one God. I, I, I so forgot your name again. Drew. 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 Look, for you, I asked you earlier, is Jesus the only one true God? And you said no. Am I right? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not fitting even into that question because it just doesn't go with the way I see things. Because I'm trying to establish who is the one true God for you. Because you're, unless you're telling me, look, look, I'll tell you what, I'll, let's, let's make it even more, more, more to the point. From the Bible, okay, not from your philosophical understanding, reasoning, from the Bible, who is the one true God? Is that a better question? From the Bible, who is the one true God? God, yes. Yahweh. But Yahweh is not in the New Testament. There's no mention of Yahweh. Not? You said Jesus mentioned it. Yeah, Jesus is mentioned in the New oh. Testament, but not Yahweh. Not no, the term. Said, you said that Jesus talked about the only true God. Was talking about yeah, Yahweh. but not Yahweh. Not the term Yahweh. Okay. Okay, so once again, who is the only true one true God according to the Bible? Yahweh. Because <laughs> okay. you said the Bible, not the New Testament. Good. Yeah, yeah, good. So in the Old Testament, it's Yahweh, I agree. But for you, the more important one is the New Testament, right? My brother? For you, they. The more important thing is the New Testament. No. It's not? No. Okay, so for you, what is the most important book in the Bible? Really without most? which without which you cannot have salvation. None of the books of the Bible pertain to my survival. So, so where do you, how do you learn about God without the Bible? I learn about God with the Bible, but it doesn't affect causal causationally affect my salvation. It does, because if you don't follow the Bible, Jesus says if you don't follow my teaching. Sure, then you, but that would be me following the Bible, not the, not the no, Bible. No, no, yo, look, look. When I say the Bible, I mean the teachings of Jesus Christ. So if you don't follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, would you still be saved? Mm, that's, that's tricky, because again... It's not tricky, it's very clear. It's very clear. So was Peter not saved when he denied Christ? He denied Christ as what? He denied that he knew Jesus Christ. Exactly, which is not denying him as God, right? There's a difference. I'm only saying. There's a difference between Peter denying if you know Jesus Christ yeah, because sure. he wanted to save his own skin. So he liked, he liked to the people who were asking him this, right? Right. He was you're, afraid you're of the on, Roman. Going on a tangent, though. No, you, you brought this point in. What do you mean I'm going off tangent? Come on, be, be patient with me. You brought Peter in, not me. You said if I want to be saved, I have to follow the teachings of Jesus, and I and I didn't. Want, I don't answer that absolutely because even people who say they follow Jesus don't always follow Jesus, yet his love for them does not change. No, but Jesus says in the Bible, if you do not follow my teachings, if you Where do not follow that? me, not, not my, if you do not follow me, if you do not follow Jesus Christ, then you're not one of me, or you're not... Uh, Which Bible verse? Uh, I don't know exactly the Bible verse, but there's a, there's a similar. But look, you know, I don't know why we're dragging this. I asked you a simple question about God, and you're trying to get all philosophical for no reason. From the Bible, okay, I... Yeah. Do you if, not want to use philosophy? You just want to use scripture? No, I want. I, I, I can't define I, the I, common ground. My friend, we'll I can. Define our language. No, no, no. I'll, I'll fit within there. I can understand your philosophical stance. However, based on the Bible, when I say the Bible in particular, because you're a Christian, I want to focus on the New Testament. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So according to the New Testament, who is the one true God? 
What do you mean by who's the one for that? Which part of that question you don't understand? So I'll explain it further. Well, what, what definition are you looking for? Are you looking who's for the verse? ultimate? Who is the ultimate God? The God. Alm Almighty God. Do, God. You, do you know Almighty God? Almighty God. Okay. God. Who is that Almighty God? God. <laughs> so, it's, it's, I didn't say that. Jesus is the radius of the image of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. So is, he, is Jesus Christ Almighty God for you? Sure. Good. Is yeah. the Father Almighty God for you? Yeah. Good. So we got two so far. Is no, the, we said the Almighty God. You didn't say the Almighty Gods. No, no. I didn't say gods. I said... I know. It, that's my point. I asked you, is Jesus Almighty God? Yes. And you said yes. Then I asked you, is the Father Almighty God? And you said? Yes. Good. And is, you said the Almighty God, wait, not wait, wait. one Almighty God. Wait a minute. Almighty God, wait, wait a minute. God. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Is the Father Jesus? Is the Father Jesus? Unfortunately, I don't believe you know what you're talking about. That's why I'm asking you. That's why I'm asking you. Is the Father Jesus? Hmm. I don't know. I thought you said I didn't know. Now you're saying you don't know either. I don't. The Trinitarian view is not essential to my salvation. So you're telling me if somebody doesn't believe Jesus is God, they can be saved? Why do you keep making jumping these conclusions? I'm not, I'm not jumping, I'm asking a question. No, it's because I don't see yours quite different to other Trinitarians that he's come across. Um, is, he, is he a Trinitarian, by the way? Yes, he is. He is. So why is he saying Trini believing in the Trinity is not necessary for my salvation? For this exact reason, because there, salvation is not a matter of a framework of right beliefs. What is salvation? Mean? Salvation is a matter of being saved, not saving yourself through correct ideology. No, but being saved requires being saved requires God saving you. Yeah, yeah. Not you ascending to God through the proper ideological framework. No, but the question is this: Do you really think that God just sent you to the world without a guidance, without telling you how you can be saved? You understand the question? I don't. I don't believe he told me how I can be saved. Not, so you're, so you're saying no way. You're God saying did, God did not say do this, do this, and do this, and then you're in. Okay, so you're telling me nowhere in the New Testament God tells you how you can be saved. He tells, tells you by whom you can be saved, which is Jesus Christ. Okay, so how are you saying just by believing in Jesus Christ? I'm saying by Jesus Christ. Yeah, but be Jesus not Christ. Not by what I do. Do you remember that rich man when he came to Jesus and he asked him, asked Jesus, how can I be saved? Did Jesus not tell him a process? No, uh, he, he did. He said, do, obey all the commandments, which you want me to say. But you just told me. No, 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 no not what I want you to say. You just told me that he didn't tell us how. Jesus, Jesus told the rich young man. I got enough, man. <laughs> Is it okay if I put one on you? Yes, sir. So you don't get filled. I've been wanting one. Yeah, I, I know. Put yeah. a little afro on it. There you so. go. Is that okay? All right. I finally got my facial hair. I, I'm trying to get a beard like yours. It's taking me forever. So. <laughs> no, I... It'll get white eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, what, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah, about about the rich man, how how he's saved. Yeah. What Jesus is. You, to him. because you remember the question I asked you. I said, did you, did God not give you a guidance how you can be saved? Sure. You said no. Not in that way. No, you said Jesus will save us. Mm -hmm. So in other words, Jesus does tell in the Bible to someone how he can be saved. But do you wanna do you wanna delve into that actual story? Yeah, sure, sure. Go on. So, um, rich young ruler, Jewish man, devout, comes to Jesus. How can I inherit eternal life? Yeah. Jesus' first response is, you know the commands. So as, as you're asking me about the teachings of the Bible and how to be saved, mm -hmm. Jesus is like, you know, you know all the commands, yeah. obey them. And the rich young man is like, well, I've, I've done all these. I, I obey the commands. And then Jesus, Jesus then takes it a level deeper, a level more personal, and looks him in the eye and says, one thing you lack, sell all you have and follow me. So he pointed to himself as, I'm, if you want to, you really want to be safe, follow me, not the commands. Okay, so, no, no. He, just, he did, no, he did. He no, but the first, me. the first thing he said was to follow the commandments, right? The yeah, first thing, the first okay. thing you mentioned to okay, the Jewish sure. man, and then the man said, "I am." Okay, so you cannot still... say you did, you cannot say that he did not say You're this. Being disingenuous to the story. No, I'm not. I'm saying the first You're thing he said was to keep the commandment. Actually, I believe uh, yeah. the way we can tell it. You said that he, uh, he personally he said, he challenged he the man to follow him. He did not follow him. He didn't say that. No, no, he found him to follow the commandments and follow. Exactly. Yeah. He said what he was attacking. So he only followed the commandments. He didn't follow Jesus. I agree. I agree. He lacks that extra level. Yes. And that extra little bit is what we appreciate. So, 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 so
And because Jesus is the new prophet and messenger that's gone to the house of Israel, they also had to follow him being the current messenger. Sure, they had to follow him. Yes. They didn't follow him. But, the but then the question becomes in what way did they follow him? Because Jesus also said he came to fulfill the law. So if he's fulfilling the law, so Moses, they feel that he needs to follow Jesus. And he's also fulfilling the law. They would have to. Yeah, he's got a good point. Yeah? So, okay. If, if a Christian or if someone is, uh, who believes in Jesus Christ's message, if he says, for me, the only true God is the Father and not Jesus Christ, according to your understanding of the New Testament, would he be a true Christian? So, according to my understanding of the New Testament, Jesus said, follow me. No, no, Master. Did you that, hear what I said? That was what Jesus taught. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I understood the follow me. But I'm saying if someone says, yes, that he follows Jesus and from from the understanding of Jesus' teaching, the idea he gets is the only true God is the Father and not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a servant. And Jesus said, the servant is not greater than the master. And the one who sends, sorry, the one who sent is not greater than the one who sent. That is John 13, 16. If you want the... You see what I mean? So Jesus was sent, yes? Yeah. And Jesus also yes. said that he's a servant yeah. in Philippians 2.7. He also said he's the son of God. Yeah, so there are many sons of God. Luke is, in, Luke, in Luke, it says Adam is the son of God. So, yes? Okay. Abraham is the son of God. Sure. David is the son of God. Many sons of God. Sure. In fact, sons by the tongues. Okay. Yeah? The question is this. So if this person says, for him, the Almighty God is only the Father and not Jesus Christ, so that's not that's not how Jesus described the Father, for that, sure. Well, he did actually. Really? In John 17, 3. Okay, so offer me a, a Muslim perspective on when Jesus, within one No, no, let's not go to the Muslim perspective. Matthew 16, my friend. when he speaks of the Father, of the Son my, of Man. My, my and friend, my friend, let's not go to the Muslim perspective well, yet. Talk about Jesus no, no, you, you can ask me, with, with all due respect, you can ask me, but let's finish this point. Sure. You said Jesus did not define it as such, that the only true God is the Father. John 17, 3. Jesus was not preaching a message on Unitarianism nor Trinitarianism. That Actually, was he was. No, he was not. He was on Unitarianism. That is an entirely uh, okay. Greek-derived philosophical remember, understanding. Do you remember God. John 17, 3? Of the, okay, what does it say? <laughs> what does it say? Uh, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Okay. That they know so, that they know you. Who's the, the you? The Father, the Father good. And Jesus, that no, they no, know no. Jesus, no, it does say that. Okay, yeah. it says that, that they, they know you, you, the Father. And Jesus Christ. No, no, before you go to Anne, that they know you, the Father, complete it. That they know you, the only true God. Exactly. And Jesus Christ. And, do you know the and? Yeah, I know and. So do you know Jesus Christ? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I know, know as a Muslim, Christ? we believe in Jesus Christ. No, do you know that? You know him. What do you mean, do you know him? Do you follow that command of Jesus? That they know God and Jesus Christ. Okay, but who is the only true God according to Jesus? Do you know Jesus Christ? Okay. Jesus my friend, it's my friend, believing. who is the only true God you, according to him? You know who is the only true God? Do you know Jesus Christ? Okay, I know Jesus Christ based on Islam. You? Yes, based on Jesus, Islam. Like, based on Islam. Oh, you mean personally? Yes. No, I don't know. Knowing I, me. I don't know. No, 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 no. So, you know the Bible when it says. Okay, you know why? You know why you switched to Jesus? Wait, wait, wait. Why did you switch it? Why did you only pick on the last bit of that passage? Because you're chopping it off. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Wait a minute. You're dissecting the prophet. Wait a minute. If if someone, if someone, listen. If someone is sincere, they will look at the whole whole verse and in context and in context. Yes. Now the question is this: According to Jesus, who is the only true God in that passage? According to Jesus, he's praying to his father and he says, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ who you have sent. So that once again, once again, who is the only true God, according to him? God. See what I mean? Father. See what I mean? This is where you're being disingenuous. Oh, come on. Yes, because I, I'm Jesus, over, wait, 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 wait. Jesus, Jesus clearly stated, and you qualified it, that when he says you, the only true God, the you here is the Father. Let's try, let's try and take it. You see what I mean? So the, the one the one which Jesus yeah. says is the only yeah, true God I'm is the Father. Yeah. No, no, it's not me win. Oh, it's win. my understanding. <laughs> and you should admit that this is what Jesus says. Then. Uh -huh. I admit the whole verse, wait, not your half. Wait. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just half. I, I, I don't mind saying Jesus Christ. Jesus I'm is the Christ. My friend. Yeah, go on. Um, what do you call it? Um, you, when he asked you who is the only true God in that verse, and yeah. you went God. Okay. Now, in that verse, you, let's say you're trying to use that verse to identify who that God is. 
We have the Father and, the, and Jesus who would say the Son. Where's the Holy Spirit? So even then, you will not find your Trinitarian belief within that verse. No, I get that. No, no, we don't, we don't need to go to the Holy Spirit even. No, no. First, we need to understand, based on this passage, it is no, very no. clear to someone who's, who's, who's no, looking at it objectively. So, so, why are you asking me? No, no, but the, yeah. No, if, I, if I'm not looking at it objectively, why are you asking me? No, no. If you look, if anybody looks at it objectively, no. then they will come to the conclusion that the you here refers to the Father, which you actually did say. Okay. Well, I'm glad you have that opinion. No, I'm not. It's, it's what you said. It's not my opinion. All right. Cool. Thank you. Do you not say that the you here is the Father? You, the only true God. The you here is that the Father. Yeah. So, according to Jesus, the Father is the only true God. Do you disagree with that? Sure. You disagree or agree? I don't know. <laughs> Because uh, I, I, you know, for you, this might be a joke. No, no, no. But it's nothing it's not. about it's nothing because, about being funny or about winning a point. It's about no. it's about being honest. It's and, about being sincere. And I'm trying to be sincere, but you cut me off every time I am. So. Okay, so once again, the you here, if he's the father, and Jesus I've says, no, but no, but you said when I asked you who is the only true God, you said God. Yeah. You did not say the Father. Do you know why that is? Why? Because according to you, according to you, okay. when I asked you earlier uh -huh. to define God, you told me Jesus. Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah, so I now, did. now Jesus himself, wait a minute, Jesus himself says the only true God is the Father. I will. Now wait, wait a minute. No, Let I me will ask. qualify. You asked for a description of God, the shortest description possible, and I said Jesus. No, I asked you who is the only true God, remember? No. And you, you said Jesus. You said Jesus. God. You said describe God. Yeah. Forget it. We forget what we said 10 minutes ago. Okay. So no, no, we don't forget. I don't forget. Well, I don't either, so I guess we disagree. So don't speak like that then if you don't forget. You said we forget. Okay? You asked me to describe the God look, look, in the short The important point is, the important point in John 7 and 3, okay, this time, please answer the question that I ask you, not something. I've answered it. Yeah, but based on the Bible, sorry, based on this passage, when Jesus says, you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent, mm -hmm. yes, who is the only true God and who is the Christ in that passage? Who is the only true God? I don't think that needs to be answered. It's clear. Yeah, who is the only true God then? He's, he's praying to his Father. And the he's Father saying, is God. the only true God. Sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And who is the Christ? Jesus. Good. So if Jesus is the Christ and the yes. Father is the only true God, and there, if there is only one God, you got it, man. You disproved Trinitarianism. Good job. No, no. By I'm the way, by the way, what I proved here is Unitarianism. I said you disproved Trinitarianism. <laughs> no, Unitarianism. That's what I proved. I said you disproved. Oh, disproved. You, okay, sorry. Sorry. You're too loud. <laughs> no, no, maybe maybe it's the accent. I don't know. Are you American? I am. Oh, does, I that, so. does that count against me? No, I not really, no. We, we, we I like, was called an American fanatic earlier today. We, we so. like Americans who come oh, here okay. because they, they, they do come I'm with a passion. We love your passion. England, we got so. Jay Smith here. But unfortunately, oh, I'm he's, I'm I don't want to compare American. him to you. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that, look, if Jesus yeah. himself states something, I think his, Ooh, his yeah. message and yeah. his words... Yeah take weight. I do agree with that. Yes? Absolutely. So if he if he says there's only one true God and that is the Father, then should should you disagree with that? Ever? No. So now if I ask you the question after this discussion, yes? Sure. Who is the only true God? God. Yes? According to Jesus Christ, God. in John 17, 3, God. when he actually states God. very clearly that he's praying to the Father, he, and he's telling the Father, you are the only true God. I, I yes? Just, he's not wait, 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 wait. Instead stating. of you saying God, 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 it's, it's, I want to hear and say, at least say once, the Father. Let me talk, but okay. No, I did let you talk. Come on. Okay. So, if Jesus himself says the Father is the only true God, and you said we shouldn't dispute that, we shouldn't disagree with that. So, why do you disagree with that? Why do you say God? Because you know why, why I say, when you said to me, listen, when you talk, when you, if you ask as, to me as a Muslim, and you say anything about Allah, I know exactly who Allah is. Sure. Because we don't have uh, a plural or, or a gender like masculine or feminine, or we have anything like um, any false gods being called Allah. Sure. So for us, this term Allah is very specific. It can only apply to the Almighty God. Okay. But if a Christian or a Jewish person, when they use a term like say Elohim or even God, mm -hmm. yes, it can apply to false gods, true God, one God, many gods. You see what I mean? I see what you're saying. Yes. So I'm in the agree, case, I see what you're saying. which part do you not agree with? Well, I'm a Christian. So I don't believe. No, no. Which part of what I just said you don't agree I'm with? I'm just saying I don't. I don't agree that that Christians which part? prefer to false gods because I'm a Christian. No, no. I'm not saying you follow the false god. You're not, you're not Sorry, listening. I'm saying the term. The term. Okay, sure, the sure, term sure. can be used. Can be used. Yes, for sure. true god. Yep. The term god can be used for the true god mm -hmm. and can be used for false gods. Yes. It even has a plural. 
Yes, unlike Allah, Allah, the term doesn't have plural. But the term God has gods and it has feminine, yes, goddess, and it has masculine, God, okay? So the question is this, if, if God Almighty is only one, yes, and Jesus was talking about, he did not just say, this is God, or you, uh, sorry, this is eternal life, that you are God, or you the God, and Jesus Christ. He says, the only true God. You know, in the entire New Testament, this title, the only true God, is something which is explicit, only, and it's only unique to God the Father. Do you agree with that? Yeah. This title hasn't been given to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes? So if Jesus says the only true God is the Father, and the only title in the entire New Testament, yes, is given only to the Father, then we can clearly state, cl con conclude, that if Jesus says that the only true God is the Father, then you should stick, stick with that, shouldn't you? Okay, so where does this leave Jesus? I'm coming to Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future, inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.